Hello friends! Hope you are having another great day. I have such a great story picked out for us today. It's one of those that's very short and sweet, but it has such a big message behind it, which you all know by now is one of my favorite things about stories. Are they fun? Are they entertaining? And can you get something out of them that you can use in your own life? I love it. So today we are reading The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein a man of which is one of my favorites. I don't think I've ever read anything from him that I just haven't truly fallen in love with. And this is one of those stories that I'm sure the majority of you have heard before. And it's just one of those that you can read a thousand times and always get something out of, always enjoy. So let's get started with this amazing, amazing story. So The Giving Tree. Once there was a tree. You can tell there's nothing too special about this tree, nothing too crazy going on. And she loved a little boy. You can see this little boy's foot off in the corner. <laughs> And every day the boy would come. He's running to his tree. I love how this illustration kind of shows her branches as arms reaching out to this little boy. And he would gather her leaves. and make them into crowns and play king of the forest. Reminds me of another story we read. Can you think of which one I'm talking about? He would climb up her trunk and swing from her branches. Ugh, oh, looks like such fun. And eat apples. Yum. I feel like there's something special about an apple taken right off of a tree branch. It's so fresh and juicy and they would play hide and go seek. <laughs> She's, oh, I don't think I should. She found him. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. And the boy loved the tree. Mm, I love how it looks like they're hugging each other. Very much. And the tree was happy. But time went by. And the boy grew older. And the tree was often alone. Then one day, the boy came to the tree and tree said, come boy, come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. I am too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. 
I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I have only leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you will have money and you will be happy. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad. And then one day the boy came back and the tree shook with joy and she said, come boy. Climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I am too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm, he said. I want a wife and I want children, and so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house, but you may cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house. And the tree was happy. <laughs> but the boy stayed away for a long time and when he came back, the tree was so happy she could hardly speak. Come boy, she whispered, come and play. I am too old and sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. It does look like he has gotten older, much older. And so the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really. She's just a trunk now. And after a long time, <laughs> my audience there and after a long time the boy came back again i am sorry boy said the tree but i have nothing left to give you my apples are gone my teeth are too weak for apples said the boy my branches are gone said the tree you cannot swing on them i'm too old to swing on branches said the boy my trunk is gone said the tree you cannot climb i am too tired to climb said the boy I'm sorry, sighed the tree. I wish that I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I'm just an old stump. I am sorry. Oh. This tree just wants to give everything she is to make this boy happy, doesn't she? I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I am very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down, sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. The end. And now they can just sit with each other. I love this story so much. I think it gives such a great interpretation of the gift of giving. This tree never stops giving to this little boy. It also teaches a very big lesson. One that I find is very hard for a lot of people to learn. 
It's hard for me in some cases of not keeping score. You see this tree giving this great picture of what it is to keep giving, keep giving. She never asks anything back from the boy. She never expects anything back from him. And that never stops her from just giving whatever she can to make this boy happy. True selfless, selflessness, true love. And I love how this tree depicts that kind of person, that kind of being. So in your own lives, and it's hard to do, it is hard to do sometimes, but give as much as you can give to people and don't ex always expect something back. It's such a rewarding feeling, isn't it? When we can give something and do something for somebody without that expectation of ever receiving something back in return. So just remember that it might be hard, but it's so rewarding, it's so great getting that fulfillment of, I helped somebody today, I made their life a little better, I did something. Even if we know that we're not gonna get anything in return, sometimes you might not even get a thank you. And it's hard, but it's so worth it. Sometimes just having that feeling of knowing that you did something good and you put a little goodness into the world. So take that forward, my friends, and I will join you for another story here soon. Have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends.